Hello everyone, I appreciate you all checking out this video, and I hope you all are doing wonderful. If you enjoy this video, I would be forever grateful for a like on the video and a subscription to the channel. Alright, let's get into the video. So, in Yakuza Like a Dragon, a popular question is what are the best weapons in the game and how do you get them? The thing is that Yakuza Like a Dragon has a job based system where each job has its own set of weapons, and weapons cannot be used across jobs. Furthermore, for each job there is a clear cut best weapon, or what some call the top weapon, which, for every job, is a weapon that is obtained by taking a specific low level weapon of the job and leveling it up to its final form. Once the weapon reaches its final form, it will be called by the name of the top weapon, and for most top weapons, it will have a special effect, and it will be upgradable up to 12 times to reach EXEX -EX level. For most jobs, it will take 21 upgrades to transform the base weapon into the EXEX -EX level of the top weapon. But for the musician, gangster, hitman, chef, enforcer, fortune teller, hostess, dealer, and night queen jobs, it will take only 18 upgrades, and for the DLC jobs of the Devil Rocker and Matriarch, it will only take 15 upgrades. Each of the upgrades after the weapon reaches final form will only increase the stats of the weapon and the look of the weapon will change once it reaches EX level, but those upgrades will not add any more special effects or anything like that. In order to upgrade from the final form to the EX level of the top weapon, you will need what is referred to as a fuse weapon, which is typically the second strongest weapon of the job. One unfortunate fact of the game is that sometimes these fuse weapons or other weapons of the job might have better special effects than the top weapon, but you cannot really use those other weapons as they have such worse stats than the EXEX level of the top weapons. Furthermore, all of this weapon upgrading takes place at the Romance Workshop and will require lots of materials and yen. In order to learn where to get the weapon upgrade materials, check out my Romance Workshop guide by either clicking on the info card popping up in the top right corner of the video or by clicking the link in the description of this video. In order to learn how to get the large sums of yen that will be required to fully upgrade your weapons, check out my best money farming methods guide by clicking the link in the description. This video will consist of going through each job and listing off the top weapon, how to get the base weapon that upgrades to it, and how to get the fuse weapon needed to fully upgrade the top weapon. One note about the fuse weapons is that many of them can be purchased from Lermarche, but Lermarche has special rules whereas some of its inventory does not become accessible until after you have acquired at least one of the thing already. However, I have noticed that some fuse weapons can be bought before having to have been obtained previously, so for the fuse weapons that will be mentioned later in the video, if I state that the weapon can be acquired from a marsh, then that means that you can get it without having to have already acquired the weapon through other means. But if I do not mention the marsh for some fuse weapons, then you either cannot purchase them there at all, or you cannot purchase them from there until you have acquired at least one of the weapon already, or you can acquire the weapon from a much simpler method, instead of paying 10 million yen for it there. Starting off with the hero, the top weapon for this job is the Legendary Hero's Bat, which at EX EX level has the stats of 344 attack, 215 magic, and 332 healing and it has the special effect of boosting the number of hits from a normal attack. This boosting the number of hits from a normal attack text is somewhat vague, and what more specifically happens is that instead of hitting 3 times with the bat, which is what the basic attack of the hero is, you hit the enemy 6 times, but the animation is the same. It just displays 2 damage numbers for every swing. The base weapon is the self-proclaimed hero's bat, which is obtained early in the game by playing through the story. The fuse weapon is the dragon's soul bat, which you can acquire as a one-time reward for completing Floor 30 of the Certain Boy Battle Arena. Next is the Hitman, whose top weapon is the Dark Silver Fist, which at EX EX level has the stats of 333 attack, 225 magic, 254 healing, and 30 agility. The Dark Silver Fists have no special effect. The base weapon is the Inlaid Gloves, which can be purchased from the casino in Chinatown for 500 chips, which, if you want to buy the chips directly, it will cost you 50,000 yen. The fuse weapon is the Dragon Knuckles, which you can acquire as a one-time reward for completing Floor 10 of the Sotenbori Battle Arena. Then there is the Gangster, whose top weapon is the Curved Crystal Saber, which at EX EX level has the stats of 344 attack, 215 magic, and 254 healing. 
The curved crystal saber has the special effect of boosting the chance of applying status ailments. The base weapon is the master saber, which can be purchased from the Kaijin specialty store for 230,000 yen. The fuse weapon is the Liru Chinese saber, which you can acquire as a one-time reward for completing floor 5 of the Sotenboi battle arena. Next is the Homeless Kai, whose top weapon is the Amino Huakari no Mikoto, which at EX EX level has the stats of 255 attack, 232 magic, and 254 healing. The Amino Huakari no Mikoto has two special effects, one being that you can recover MP from basic attacks, and the second being that it boosts damage done by fire type attacks. The base weapon is the Rugged Cane, which can be purchased from Love Magic for 2000 yen. The Fuse Weapon is the Staff of the Five Wisdoms, which you can acquire as a one-time reward for completing Floor 25 of the Sotenbori Battle Arena. Then there is the Detective, whose top weapon is the Chromium Alloy Club, which at EX EX level has the stats of 319 Attack, 179 Magic, and 229 Healing. The Chromium Alloy Club has a special effect of boosting the critical hit chance of physical attack skills. The base weapon is the Carbon Police Baton, which can be obtained two ways, one being it can be purchased from Maruhan for 250 points, the second way being you can find it in the Yokohama Underground Dungeon. The Fuse Weapon is the Club of Holy Might, which you can acquire as a one-time reward for completing Floor 20 of the Sotenbori Battle Arena. Next is the Barmaid whose top weapon is the Jeweled Bag, which at EX EX level has the stats of 308 attack, 225 magic, and 307 healing. The Jeweled Bag has the special effect of boosting the HP recovery amount from skills. The base weapon is the Casual Bag, which can be purchased from the Hustle Boutique for 2500 yen. The Fuse Weapon is the Leaden Bag, which you can acquire as a one-time reward for completing Floor 15 of the Sotenbori Battle Arena. Then there is the Clerk, whose top weapon is the Super High Frequency Ruler, which at EX EX level has the stats of 308 Attack, 199 Magic, and 318 Healing. The Super High Frequency Ruler has the special effect of ignoring defense. The base weapon is the Anti-Corrosion Box Cutter, which can be acquired two ways. One being you can purchase it from the Gambling Hall for 50 Wooden Tags, which will cost 5,000 Yen if you buy the tags directly. The second way being you can find it in the Yokohama Underground Dungeon. The Fuse Weapon is the Ceramic Box Cutter, which you can acquire by talking to Hero after reaching Executive Hero level and Part-Time Hero. Next is the Bodyguard, whose top weapon is the Demon Blade Muramasa, which at EX EX level has the stats of 333 attack, 160 magic, and 229 healing. The Demon Blade Muramasa has a special effect of giving a chance on normal attacks to apply bleed that does not naturally recover. The base weapon is the Nameless Katana, which can be acquired two ways. One as a reward in Substory 21 if you choose to receive the shiny black object, and the second way is to purchase it from the Shogi Shop for 500 points. The Fuse Weapon is the Sakura Storm, which can be obtained two ways, one being it can be purchased from Kamalop for 50 Tojo Clan Crash, the second way being it can be purchased from Lamarche for 10 million yen. Then there is the Host, whose top weapon is the Snow Sapphire Wine, which at EX EX level has the stats of 283 attack, 232 magic, and 318 healing. The Snow Sapphire Wine has two special effects, one being the ability to recover MP with normal attacks, and the second being it boosts damage done by cool type attacks. The base weapon is the Table Sparkling, which can be acquired two ways. One being it can be purchased from the Gambling Hall for 50 wooden tags, which costs 5,000 yen if you buy the tags outright. 
the second being part-time hero quest reward for takedown Musclehead. The fuse weapon is the Prestige, which you can acquire repeatedly as a reward for completing 415 of the Certain Boy Battle Arena within 7 turns. Next is the Breaker, whose top weapon is a Soul Anklet, which at EX EX level has the stats of 255 attack, 179 magic, and 332 healing. The Soul Anklet has the special effect of boosting the damage of physical attacks that strike a weakness. The base weapon is the Red Anklet, which can be purchased from the batting cages for 500 points. The Fuse weapon is the Beat Anklet, which you can acquire repeatedly as a reward for completing Floor 22 of the Certain Boy Battle Arena within 5 turns. Then there is the Foreman, whose top weapon is the Heaven and Earth Hammer, which at EX EX level has the stats of 344 attack, 160 magic, and 307 healing. The Heaven and Earth Hammer has a special effect of boosting damage done by blend type attacks. The base weapon is the Rusted Hammer, which can be purchased from the batting cages for 500 points. The fuse weapon is the Star Crusher, which can be acquired two ways, one being you can purchase it from the batting cages for 30,000 points, and the second being you can purchase it from Lamarche for 10 million yen. Next is the Musician, whose top weapon is the Symphonic, which at EX EX level has the stats of 333 attack, 199 magic, and 332 healing. The Symphonic has the special effect of boosting the duration of guitar song buffs and debuffs. The base weapon is the Vintage Guitar, which can be acquired two ways, one being it can be purchased from the Can Quest shop for 3000 points, and the second being a reward for completing the part-time hero quest Take Down Assassin. Fuse weapon is the Violence Guitar, which you can acquire repeatedly as a reward for completing floor 20 of the Certain Boy Battle Arena within 5 turns. Then there is the Chef, whose top weapon is a Scorching Spatula, which at EX EX level has the stats of 319 attack, 242 magic, and 318 healing. The Scorching Spatula has a special effect of boosting the damage done by fire attacks. The base weapon is the Wooden Flipper, which can be acquired two ways one being it can be purchased from the dragon card shop for 100 coins, and the second being a reward for completing the part-time hero quest, Take Down Technomancer. The fuse weapon is the Damascus Ladle, which can be acquired two ways, one as a repeatable reward for completing floor 10 of the Certain Boy Battle Arena within 7 turns, and the second being you can purchase it from the dragon card shop for 4,000 coins. Next is the Enforcer, whose top weapon is the Special Ops Riot Shield, which at EX EX level has the stats of 333 attack, 225 magic, and 229 healing. The Special Ops Riot Shield has a special effect of boosting damage done by electric type attacks. The base weapon is the Bulletproof Shield, which can be acquired two ways. One being it can be purchased from the Gambling Hall for 500 wooden tags, which is 50,000 yen if you buy the tags directly. The second being it can be found inside a silver safe in the Komi Jewel headquarters. The fuse weapon is the Absolute Shield, which you can acquire two ways. One by purchasing it from Lamarge for 10 million yen, and the second by purchasing it from the Shogi shop for 150,000 points. Next is the Fortune Teller, whose top weapon is the Diamond or Buculum, which at EX EX level has the stats of 230 attack, 242 magic, and 332 healing. The Diamond or Buculum has two special effects, one being the ability to recover MP with normal attacks, and the second being it boosts HP recovery amount from skills. The base weapon is the Stone Orb, which can be purchased from the Gambling Hall for 300 wooden tags which equates to 30,000 yen if you buy the tags directly. The fuse weapon is the pure gold ball, which you can acquire two ways, one being you can purchase it from the gambling hall for 100,000 wooden tags, which comes to 10 million yen if you buy the tags outright, the second being you can purchase it from Remarge for 10 million yen. Then there is the Devil Rocker, whose top weapon is the Infernal Crasher, 
which at EX EX level has the stats of 344 attack, 232 magic, and 343 healing. The Infernal Crasher has the special effect of adding all types to normal attacks. The base weapon is the Thrallmaster's Axe, which can be purchased from Chakalong's Armory for 2,980,000 yen. There is no fuse weapon necessary for the Infernal Crasher. Next is the Hostess, whose top weapon is the Shining Pouch, which at EX EX level has the stats of 230 attack, 242 magic, and 282 healing. The Shining Pouch has two special effects, one being that you recover MP from basic attacks, and the second being that it boosts damage of all types. The base weapon is the Cotton Pouch, which can be acquired two ways, one being that it can be purchased from the PIA prize exchange for 250 points, or the second being you can find it in the Yokohama Underground Dungeon. The Fuse Weapon is the Elegant Pouch, which you can acquire two ways, one being you can purchase it from the Can Quest Shop for 500,000 points, or second, you can purchase it from Lamar's for 10 million yen. Then there is the Idol, whose top weapon is the Celestial Microphone, which at EXDX level has the stats of 283 attack, 215 magic, and 343 healing. The Celestial Microphone has three special effects, one being it boosts the HP recovery amount from skills, second being it boosts the damage of blunt and blade skills, and the third being the ability to recover MP from basic attacks. The base weapon is the Pretty Microphone, which can be acquired two ways, one being that it can be purchased from the Dragon Card Shop for 200 coins, and the second being a reward for completing the part-time hero quest Take Down Chinese Mafioso. The Fuse Weapon is the Revival Microphone, which you can acquire repeatedly as a reward for completing Floor 24 of the Sotin Boy Battle Arena without tagging out. Next is the Night Queen, whose top weapon is the Whip of Pleasure, which at EX EX level has the stats of 344 attack, 232 magic, and 343 healing. The Whip of Pleasure has a special effect of recovering HP with basic attacks. The base weapon is the Sadistic Whip, which can be purchased from Love Magic for 500,000 yen. The Fuse Weapon is the Electric Whip, which you can acquire repeatedly as a reward for completing Floor 26 of the Sotin Boy Battle Arena without reviving fallen allies. Then there is the Dealer, whose top weapon is the Fake Ace, which at EX EX level has the stats of 333 attack, 225 magic, and 318 healing. The Fake Ace has the special effect of increasing the chance to get a good effect from dealer skills. The base weapon is the Tarot Cards, which can be acquired two ways, one being it can be purchased from the casino for 500 chips, which equates to 50,000 yen if you buy the chips directly. The second way is as a reward from the part-time hero quest, Bento and Bonsai Delivery. The Fuse Weapon is the Royal Joker card, which can be obtained two ways, one being it can be purchased from the casino for 100,000 chips, which is 10 million yen if you buy the chips directly, the second being it can be purchased from Lamar's for 10 million yen. Finally, the last job is the Matriarch, whose top weapon is the Green Dragon Crescent Blade which at EX EX level has the stats of 344 attack, 179 magic, 318 healing, and 30 agility. The Green Dragon Crescent Blade has no special effect. The base weapon is the Ladies Naginata, which can be purchased from Cha Ka Long's armory for 3,500,000 yen. There is no fuse weapon for the Green Dragon Crescent Blade. Alright, well, that is just about it for this video but I would like to take a moment and thank you all with deepest sincerity for the support you have been showing the channel. I truly care about each and every one of you, and I want you to know that you are playing a large role in making my dreams a reality. You are always welcome here, and I enjoy interacting with you all in the comments. Much love, and as always, thank you for being here. I wish you all the best of days. Later.